Hello students, welcome to our today's class. In the today's class, we are going to solve this problem in simple way. You see, generally if you want to solve this, you need to write a balanced equation. Without writing balanced equation, we are going to solve, which is more useful technique in our competitive examination. Let's get started. Number of equivalent weights is equal to mass by gram equivalent weight or equivalent mass. So number of equivalents is equal to mass by gram equivalent mass. But equivalent mass, gram equivalent mass is equal to gram molecular mass divided by n factor. So therefore mass by gram molecular mass we can write as like a number of moles. So n factor come upside therefore n factor into number of moles. So number of equivalents is equal to n factor into number of moles. We can write like that. So now coming to the problem. So according to the problem, here first we need to have an idea that is in any chemical reaction, reactants and products have same number of equivalents or same equivalents. So therefore according to this point, we can take so number of equivalents of KMnO4 must be equal to number of equivalents of F ferrous oxalate. So we can write like that. Now you can take so 5 e here n factor for KMnO4 in acidic medium is 5 and number of n factor for FeC2O4 is 3. So here already given FeC2O4 number of moles is equal to 1, n factor 3. How to calculate n factor for this we will discuss in the end of this video. And now number of moles of KMnO4 is equal to 3 by 5 that is equal to 0.6. So we can take it like that. So in the given options 0.6 is answer for this. Now same model we do this 16th question. You can see here that is same formula number of equivalents of K2Cr207 is equal to number of equivalents of I2. So n factor into number of moles. Here n factor for K2Cr207 is 6 and 1 mole is given and n factor for I2 is 2. How to calculate it we will discuss later at the end of this video. Now here number of moles of I2 is equal to 3. What a simple technique or simple way. Here we can follow this while solving the this model of problems in the objective examinations time saving process. Now just uh, you see here n factor for FeC2O4. Here Fe will be Fe plus 2 will be converted into Fe plus 3. Here it lost one electron. C2O4 minus 2 is converted into 2CO2 and it lost 2 electrons. Total 3 electrons lost. So therefore n factor is n factor for FeC2O4 is 3 electrons. Whereas coming to the n factor for I2, 2Ki is converted to I2. That means minus 1 is converted to 0. That means 1 electron lost. But 2 i's are there. Therefore 2 into 1 electron, 2 electrons. Therefore, n factor for I2 is equal to, we can take it as like a 2. So based on this, we can solve such type of problems. This is more useful for your competitive examination. So all of you focus on this model and get benefited. Thanks for watching our videos. Bye bye.